Walter Rodney. On March 23, 1942, Walter Anthony Rodney was born to parents Edward and Pauline Rodney in Georgetown, Guyana. Rodney's family was considered working class, but he was still able to excel in his academics as a young boy. During high school, he continued to excel, which led him to graduate at the top of his Queens College class of 1960. Queens College was the top male high school in Guyana. Because of his academic excellence, he earned a scholarship to attend the University of the West Indies at Mona, Jamaica. In typical Walter Rodney fashion, he graduated at the top of his class with honors and a degree in history in 1963. His next step was attending the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of the West Indies, where at the age of 24, he was an honor student and earned a PhD in African history. His dissertation, A History of the Upper Guinea Coast, 1545 to 1800, was so exceptional that the Oxford University Press published it in 1970. While earning his master's and PhD, Rodney was a professor at the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania from 1966 to 1967. He served as a professor at the university for a second stint from 1967 to 1974, moving into his rise as a political activist. As a college student, his popularity began to rise because of his ability to speak to the public as well as his participation in the demonstrations against the Jamaican government. Rodney was meeting with human rights groups that represented the poor, Rastafarians, and anyone who was against the government. He even became an acquaintance and student to the Caribbean legend C.L.R. James. Because of his affiliations, Rodney was being targeted by the Jamaican government and labeled as a problem. Rodney wanted the government to stop the oppression of its people. Black power, black liberation, and black consciousness were the core of his messages. Using his academic prowess, he learned four additional languages to help him become more proficient and skilled at researching the history of his people. In 1968, after returning to Jamaica from a conference in Montreal, Canada, Rodney was denied re-entry into Jamaica, which caused a riot that started in Kingston called the Rodney Riots. In 1969, he published his first book, Groundings with My Brothers, a book that focuses on the decolonization of Africa and the Caribbean and the promotion of black power. In 1968, Rodney would move to Cuba before moving back to Tanzania. While in Tanzania, he found work as a lecturer, which allowed him to travel and witness the effects of European colonization on Africa and its people. In 1972, Walter Rodney published his most popular and groundbreaking book, how Europe Underdeveloped Africa, a book that highlights the colonization and exploitation of Africa and its people by European colonies. Rodney used his platform to create intellectual spaces of discussion to help analyze their current conditions and how they can change them. These discussions coincided with the sixth Pan-African Conference, which was held in Tanzania in 1974. Also in 1974, Rodney moved back to Guyana after accepting a position as a university professor at the University of Guyana. The offer was eventually rejected by the government of Guyana, or more specifically, the People's National Congress. To make a living, Rodney moved his family to the United States to teach and further his mission of ending the oppression of black people under the colonial powers. In 1979, Rodney was arrested along with seven other people after being accused of burning down government offices. In 1981, he published two books, Marx and the Liberation of Africa and A History of the Guyanese Working People, 1881 to 1905. His books shed light on the mistreatment and oppression of people because of race and class and gave information on overcoming differences in the name of unity and upliftment. The organization, the Working People's Alliance, was formed in 1974. Rodney joined and eventually became a leader in the organization. They went on to successfully unite people from Africa and East India as a political party that challenged the Guyanese government. Because of his activism in the Caribbean, Africa, and the United States, Rodney was a target for several governments and labeled as a troublemaker. He was often harassed by various police forces and dealt with constant threats to his life. On June of 1980, Walter Rodney was assassinated by a military officer using a remote control bomb. Rodney was 38 years old. Before his death, Rodney left the world a great legacy of a freedom fighter 
who demanded liberation for his people. He was recognized and honored for his contributions to the world. Over 18 awards, foundations and conferences, etc., were named in honor of Walter Rodney. He published 12 books and 24 other publications. He used his intelligence and bravery to give a voice to the people he witnessed being oppressed, his people. To the great Walter Rodney, we proudly stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1.com and you can support On the Shoulders of Giants on Patreon by visiting patreon.com OTSOG.